<laughs> Happy Tuesday. Oh, welcome to Tracy's Tuesday Talk. And uh, it is September 22nd. And uh, we are here at Carrie's house and we're going to do an interview. But the first thing I want to do is just well, wish you all a happy autumn equinox. And she's going to say it better than me. Autumnal. Autumnal. <laughs> happy autumnal equinox. And for my Wiccan friends, happy Maybar Maybon. I got it right that time. And um, just wel welcome everybody to the harvest time and to our wonderful, nice, warm autumn. Uh, hopefully it'll last a little bit longer than normal. We're, we can always hope. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we're here at Carrie's house. And uh, because it's September 22nd, we chose Carrie to interview because September 22nd is Bilbo and Frodo Baggins's birthdays. And uh, those of you that know The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, you might know that. But now, if you don't know that, new, you don't know it now. You know it now. So this is Carrie. Carrie is so talented. She has made a Hobbit door. And tell me. A Middle Earth land post. Middle Earth land post. Um, and yeah, she met, does many crafts and many wonderful things, but this is why we chose her house because it just was fitting. So we're going to interview Carrie. How are you overall, Carrie? I'm doing really well. Yeah, life is good. Um, we're all happy and healthy and safe. And um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with the virtual services and the, the virtual music projects. Yeah. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and Gwen started kindergarten too. So that's exciting. Yeah. That's really exciting. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and so what, what have been your biggest challenges during COVID-19? Um, I, I definitely say not being able to get together with people in person. So um, not being able to sing together and play instruments together, that kind of thing. It's, uh, it's been kind of tough. So we're being creative <laughs> and doing things a little bit differently. And it's actually been really rewarding too. Um, but that's been, uh, I, I'd, I'd say, you know, it's been the biggest hurdle is just not being able to get together and sing with people anymore. Yeah, I would agree with you. It's hard not to be, and people that we're normally together with, yeah. then all of a sudden become like we can't be together with them. Yeah. So what would you say would be the silver lining that has come out of this whole uh, challenge for us? Um, I think learning new things has been the biggest thing. Um, and, and thinking outside the box a little bit about how to do things differently. So for us in the music side, it's been learning about microphones and sound editing and, and stuff that I never knew about before and never really thought about but it's been a really good opportunity for me to learn more about that and try it out and play around with things and it's also gotten me out of a little bit of a musical rut when I was just mostly playing piano now I can play piano and sing and play the auto harp and double bass and trumpet and melodica and kind of whatever so <laughs> it's been really really fun <laughs> Yeah, having that opportunity to be able to try those instruments when you've thought about trying them, right? And uh, Carrie's told me once that she, when she, if she can have an instrument in front of her, if she has enough time, she'll figure it out. Not well, maybe, she says. Maybe not well, but, but she'll figure it out. Um, and so where have you seen God's presence in, where would you say you've seen God's presence in all this? Um, for me personally, it's been um, things like family and neighbors. Um, our, our neighbors over, just across the street over here, we do grocery pickup um, drop-offs. And so we pick up at different stores. We drop things off on each other's doorstep. My neighbor brings me the odd coffee every now and then from Starbucks, which is really great. <laughs> and uh, then, you know, all, all the people who are doing the stuff behind the scenes at Stuck, I, I think that's been fantastic too. So people like Todd and Dan uh, working, you know, the, the the sound of the cameras and stuff and then um even you know like Hal doing the Dropbox stuff and, and all the things that you don't really see when you see the the uh service on Sunday but you know that people behind the scenes are doing all that work it's pretty awesome um and I guess you know like around the world it's obviously the the doctors and the nurses and all the frontline um frontline workers that are dealing with this pandemic head-on yeah I would agree with you and I've never appreciated grocery store clerks as much as I do now like hugely appreciate that. Um, is my is it my last question already? I think it is, isn't it? I don't have my notes. Oh yeah, plans for the fall. What are some plans that you're looking forward to for the fall? Halloween. <laughs> Always Halloween. <laughs> it's 
it's my favorite holiday. <laughs> so, so that and um, just enjoying the cooler weather because I really, really love the fall. And uh, usually summer's too hot for me. I have to stay inside where it's air conditioned all the time. So this is much nicer. You know, it gets to be like 10, 15 degrees and maybe like a little bit drizzly. And I'm just a happy camper. It's like Scotland weather. <laughs> That's awesome. Evangeline would say that too. Todd would say that too. Um, Evangeline's favorite holiday is Halloween for sure. And she said if she could be a Wiccan, she probably would because that's their biggest, you know, one of the biggest holidays. So yeah, it's awesome. So our fun question and you can choose and you can answer all or none. Um, favorite or what would, if you were an ice cream flavor, what would it be? If you had a super power, what would it be? Or who is your favorite Lord of the Rings character? We can add that one in. You can just add that one in. All right, there you go. <laughs> What the heck? I'll go for broke for all three. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, for the favorite ice cream, I would any flavor of gelato or sorbet because again, me and dairy don't really get along, so that's more <laughs> my speed. Um, for uh, superpower, I'd say um, the ability to teleport because. Right now with the pandemic, you don't really want to get on an airplane, but then it also takes forever to drive somewhere. So it would be really, really nice to just teleport to Muskoka and see my family and go over to Iceland and <laughs> not have to deal with the plane and <laughs> all those other uh, complications that yeah. come at this time. Mm -hmm. um, and favorite Lord of the Rings character? Oh, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. <laughs> so probably Bilbo is kind of my go-to just because I'm kind of a homebody and I just like to stay home for the most part and <laughs> don't get out of my, sh out of my shell too much. Yeah. Uh, but Eowyn is also fantastic and uh, just such a, a great feminist icon, I think. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Now, I don't know if you can do a, a pan on her skirt because, you know, it's the Hobbit skirts. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Carrie, for joining us. And thank you all for uh, listening and, and uh, joining us this morning. And so we wish you all a great, a great week. Uh, stay tuned for Thursday's chat. Justin and Candace are away for a couple of weeks. And so uh, I'm going to be doing Thursday's check in as well and uh, that's going to be somewhat of an announcement but we're going to announcements time but we're going to do it in a fun kind of newsreel time i don't know we'll figure we'll figure something out uh and to make it a little more exciting <laughs> if we can get organized by then all right so stay tuned and uh have a great week everyone bye <laughs>